Hey there, it's Eric Evanstead with BootstrapBizGrowth.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Asana to manage all of your virtual employees and outsource workers. So if you're not familiar with Asana, this is a project management tool and this is something that I've been using for probably four or five years now and I use it to delegate all my tasks to my virtual employees. I use it to keep them on track, uh, I use it to monitor what they're doing and what projects they've completed. We, do, we manage all, all of our client projects in here. We do all of our communications through Asana. There's no email back and forth with my team members. It's all built into Asana. And so it's really the number one tool that you need when working with a virtual assistant. And so what I want to do here is I want to show you ex exactly how I use Asana. And it might give you some ideas for how you can uh, better your communications and be better your delegation efforts with your virtual employees. So let's dive in here. I'm going to pull up my Asana dashboard. And one thing I should mention is that I use the free version of Asana. They do have a premium version with a bunch of bells and whistles, but I find the free version is really all that you really need. Um, and so that's what I've been using for the last few years. And that's what I recommend everybody else using. It's free up to 15 people. So as long as you have less than 15 team members on your, in your business, then the free version is really all you need. And so what you first are going to do is you're going to go to asana.com, sign up for that free account, that's going to take you inside the dashboard. It looks just like this. Then what you're going to want to do is invite your fellow team members. So you're going to click this little plus button, go to invite, type out their email addresses, hit invite. They're going to get notified. They're going to be able to join your team, create their own Asana dashboard, and that's going to allow you to start delegating tasks to them and communicating with them within your, your team's Asana dashboard. And so here's kind of the quick rundown. It's pretty simple how I use it. So I have two businesses that I manage through this Asana dashboard. One is Bootstrap Biz Growth and one is my website design company. And so I create different projects under each of those depending on which business it's about. And so to create a new project, you just click the little plus button, invite anybody that is, that project is relevant to, but click add project, um, do project name. So we'll just say Client A, maybe we have a new client that we're working with. Um, I do the list layout. You can play around with both. The list is just kind of a list of tasks. Board is more of a uh, sticky note style where you can drag sticky notes to different columns. Whatever works best for you, play around with both and see. I like the list though, so I'm gonna do that. And so here, here would be that list. And this is where we create tasks that we can assign to different people or virtual assistants or, or whoever you're working with. So I'll just create a task to show you what this looks like. So um, maybe this is onboard client A, right? So maybe that's the first task. We just started working with them. Um, here you can kind of describe what you want. Um, so we're gonna be onboarding client A, go through checklist below, whatever it may be. Then we can do subtasks where we outline everything that we want them to do. So step one, welcome them to team. Step two, um, you know, maybe this is set up their account. You get the point. Go through all your steps for that task. If you do a sub subtask, or maybe you just put everything right in the description. Another thing that I really like to do is I like video tutorials. I think this is the easiest way to communicate what you're looking for out of a task to virtual employees. So I create video tutorials using screencastomatic.com. And what I do is I create those videos and then I just attach them. And so I click this little button here, the, the paper click, paper clip, and then I scroll for it on my computer. Here's a tutorial video that I recently created. So I'll just upload that. You can see it's uploading here. So maybe I would say refer to attached video. There's the video. So now they can click that and watch it. And once I've set all this up, I want to assign it to one of my virtual assistants. And so I'll assign this to Leah. She is now going to get a notification within her dashboard. It'll show up in her inbox under my tasks. And she's going to be notified that this task has been assigned to her. So she's going to know exactly what to do. Another thing you want to do is put a due date on it. Um, so we'll say it's due Friday the 15th and this helps her prioritize what task should be completed first. So you always want to do a due date and you want to let your 
virtual employees or remote workers know that they need to do tasks in order of when they're due. So high priority tasks get done first. Um, so that's how you do a task within a project. You can also have conversations. So I really like this. Um, this just kind of lets me stay in touch with anybody that's working on a certain project and know what's going on. So I have them update me with uh, what's going on on their tasks that they've been assigned here. I can give any new notifications about, you know, maybe client A wants to move faster. You know, maybe they're complaining because things are moving too, too slow. Um, so I might send a message out to everybody on this project and just say, hey, let's speed things up. Let's move all of our uh, due dates up a day and try to get this thing pumped out today. You know, whatever that may be, and I can actually tag people. So maybe I'll just tag Leah. Hey, Leah, can we speed things up? You know, whatever it may be, this just kind of removes that email communication. So we can have back and forth within Asana. And it just simplis simplifies everything because everything is in one place now. Okay, and... I'll just show you around here too. I have all these tasks set up. So these are different projects. So I have a new task projects project, which is kind of just more miscellaneous tasks. It doesn't fall under different projects, just ongoing miscellaneous things. And so as you can see, I actually delegate tasks myself as well um, as my virtual employees because that helps me stay organized. It helps me know what my to-do list is. It helps me prioritize what needs to be done first. Um, I really think that's about it. It's not too difficult. You don't need to overcomplicate things. Um, there is this calendar feature which you can click on and see um, just when th different things in a project, when different tasks are due. Um, I guess I'll show you how to do sections as well. So maybe this would be um, onboarding. We'll call this the onboarding section. And then you can create tasks under that. Um, or maybe there's another one that's called... Uh, you know, launch phase, and then I'll create different tasks under that. So you want to just stay as organized as possible, but you also don't want to overcomplicate things. Um, I would just encourage you to get in there, see how it works for you. You're going to do things differently than I do, but this is kind of how I use it to manage all my virtual employees. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, do me a favor and scroll down and hit the thumbs up button. That tells other people that you like the video. And if you know anybody else that might like this video who might benefit from using Asana, I would love it if you would share this video with them. Uh, we love to add to our growing network of entrepreneurs, and it starts with you sharing the videos, and we just really appreciate that. It allows us to grow and cre keep creating great content. And that's it from me. So look forward for the next video tomorrow.